Hello everyone, my name is Denis Ilyas, and today I would like to show you about Dynapix, a pixel art creator extension created by Gerardo and me as our CMPT461 project. Our extension aims to help game developers to create pixel art from photos and add dynamic lighting to their games. Pixel art has been the main style for early popular video games, of course, because of its simplicity. Now we can compare pixel art to modern graphics, where tens of thousands or fewer of pixels per character are compared to tens of thousands of polygons. Pixel art games have a huge fan base and they are getting popular again. They've entered the renaissance because of the indie developers, who didn't want to spend tons of time on graphics but rather concentrate on game mechanics or plot. The last couple of years gave us some beautiful and memorable pixel art games. So, what is Dynapix? Dynapix is our create extension that pixelates an image, generates its normal map, and then pixelates the normal map. Normal maps are used to add dynamic lighting in games. We also provide some options for pixelization which can be set in create a user interface. Dynapix consists of two main parts, a normal map generator and a pixelization engine. Let's take a look at the normal map generator first. We are using the XT consistency algorithm, based on robust learning through cross-task consistency by Zemir Sachs et al. 2020. This algorithm is publicly available on GitHub. Here are some examples of normal maps generated by this algorithm. You may notice that it uses a non-traditional normal map palette, but we recover it in our extension matching the standard game development palette. Even though the network is trained on sparse indoor images, it deals well even with some object close-ups. Now, let's talk about the pixelization process, where the Super Pixelate algorithm is used. This algorithm is also publicly available on GitHub. It produces beautiful 8-bit pixel art and gives some options for more flexibility. You can set palette size and deezer options in our extensions UI. Palette size is how many colors you want in the resulting pixelated image. You may also select among five dithering options, examples of which you may see on the screen right now. Also, the output can be rescaled if you select this option. You should manually mask an object you specifically want to pixelate for better results. These examples are generated without any dithering and have palette size of 12. Now to Gerardo and demo of Dynapix. Enjoy! Hello everyone, it's Gerardo. Rather than showing you every tiny detail of our, our application, uh, what Dennis and I wanted to do was actually demonstrate uh, how useful our application can actually be for an artist to just pick up a piece of art from the internet, uh, import it into Krita, pixelize and extract normals from it um, using our extension, and then import it directly into Unity as their own assets. So the next couple of minutes will be dedicated to that. I, we hope that you guys enjoy.
Thanks for watching. You can find all the important links in the description, or you can simply scan the QR code to learn more about Dynapix. Bye.